can consuming lemon in general or drinking lemon water treat or prevent kidney stones and I think this is I think it is a great idea to include the sour the bitters and other cruciferous vegetables that will aid in liver health firstly because I think that gallstones and kidney stones really stem from an insufficiency with the liver and bile function in the first place I've also spoke of other is- issues really to do with the emotions particularly anger and resentment which can diminish liver and gallbladder function respectively and again all the research is here I mean look at this here for a title for example the angry liver the anxious heart and the melancholy spleen I mean this is all to do with anger in the liver how it affects the liver the anxiety and how that affects the heart I mean I've spoke of I've spoke of that before how the anxiety shifts between the uh, the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system and how that makes the heart ineffective as a pump and the melancholy spleen really that's how depression then is affecting the spleen area and I'm pretty sure that has to do with how your breathing then um, affects the spleen and the need for more red blood cell count as well um, there's also links which is showing how emotional issues then can play throughout the kidneys especially in times of sadness and grief due to upsets in water metabolism for example when maybe you're crying whenever you're grieving and how this sort of interplays then with problems within the kidney and water metabolism in general I've linked another paper sadness diagnosis evaluation and treatment there's case studies in here that shows that people presenting with depression and how this affects then kidneys with the kidney stones and gallstones as well I mean there's a case study here with a 58 year old woman I think it is maybe 64 I'm not sure I need to read it again but how she presents to the doctor and the doctor can't explain why she's experiencing the symptoms she's experiencing within the kidneys and the gallbladder I mean there's everything else is okay the liver markers are fine ALT AS whatever you call it ALT and AST I think they are as the enzymes within the liver that they check to see if there's any um, issues with liver function and they were all fine but she did present with some sadness and depression and she had the symptoms and I can't, you can't deny the evidence and the research is there. Just because the medical model we are living with today denies the existence of medical or mental and emotional stressors and how this can affect the physiology, it, it's only a matter of time, people, before this comes out. And I link the research papers. I know a lot of people are saying, why can't you just explain it to us in simpler terms? And I can do that if you like. But for you reading the research papers, your belief in this whole concept becomes much more and it's much more likely then that when you are consuming your lemon rinds to treat or prevent kidney stones that your belief in the help the belief in the aid will become so much realer for you and that belief can then translate into the physiology and perhaps cure your symptoms i'm not saying now that drinking lemon water is going to cure your liver if you you know if you've um, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease just drinking lemon water every day is not going to help with that there it's a whole physical mental emotional and even spiritual picture that we need to bring into bring into this modern medical model if you like this is where medicine i think needs to go forward with bringing this all together you know all the pharmaceuticals and all the pills they can maybe clear up some symptoms or maybe it is just belief in a placebo effect who knows and i've spoken of this before as well the placebo and the placebo effect but for today that's all i have to say on drinking lemon water remember it's a physical mental emotional picture mainly So thanks guys for listening today and I'll hope to speak to you all soon again.